Hey, what's up everyone? It's your buddy Matt here. Welcome back to my channel. Live from Ormstown, Quebec, we are here at the annual summer show 2023. It's kind of overcast and we're really hoping it's not going to rain, but the turnout is actually pretty good and so far the show is awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go check it out. So like I mentioned, despite the weather, turnout is actually really, really good. We're just really hoping that it doesn't start downpouring. A lot of guys have taken the precaution and have brought tents. Yeah, we're gonna try to hurry this up and try to interview a couple, a couple collectors to see uh, what they brought. So anyone that knows me knows that I absolutely love the Boxster 370 engines and right here behind me we have a perfect example of a beautifully restored 1968. I spent some time before speaking with Benoit and Serge, the two guys that restored this sled and they did an incredible, incredible job. Every little detail, uh, including this wonderful stand that has this mirror, I mean check this out, you can see the condition of the track, you can see everything's been redone meticulously, absolutely wonderful. I love this setup, I love the way they prop this hood up. It's absolutely incredible, I, uh, I really really am glad they came today. Look at this awesome collection behind me. Two lovely uh, race Arctic cats and two Alouettes. Really, really nice sleds. Let's go check them out. After the 76 race season, so the story goes, the sleds were destroyed and buried in Thief River. And um, this sled came from a collection and I was able to find the, an original Snow Pro motor for this. It uh, has all the proper magnesium pieces on it. It actually has a proper Snow, Snow Pro foam on it, a 29 pound track on it. As far as, you know, in quotations, clones go, it's going to be as, cl <laughs> as close as you are probably ever going to find. Um, and I, I did a, a tribute for Larry Coltham, of course, because uh, he was, uh, you know, a, a fantastic racer. And that's my my, my 76. That one is one of three that was hand built okay. at the factory. Um, and it's actually, I think it's the second lowest serial number entered at the um, Eagle, Eagle River. Okay. And uh, I think Jill's Villeneuve was 250, and that's 251. Wow. Okay. So, okay. And that was John McGuire's sled, both of those, as well as I got the other ones that he had. There's a lot of history there, and it's, that's what it's all about. Ben oui. Listen to that engine purr, absolutely wonderful. I don't think anyone can refute that. Uh, fully restored from A to Z, absolutely gorgeous. What the heck is this? Ils ont déjà fait des machines oui, comme ça. Oui, il y a 79, 270. Les gars, ils avaient ouvert les crates, ils avaient vu ça dans le crate. Ils ont fait, hein, eh, qu'est-ce que c'est ça? C'est les, <rire> euh, les Allemands, ils avaient envoyé ça. Il y avait, la, le premier moteur de bois ski qui a reçu d'un crate de bois, c'était un trois cylindres de même. Okay. Le deuxième crate, ils ne savaient pas c'était quoi, ben c'était trois pipes. C'était les pipes, ouais. J'imagine que ça fait, va ensemble. Ah oui, on fait des trous, <rire> on rentre ça là-dedans. Vraiment des belles machines. Yeah, so I've only ever seen a picture of that boa ski and it was sure enough the guy that was talking to me was the guy in that picture so maybe there's only one of them I don't know but when I saw it I was like oh my god I gotta talk to whoever owns this sled and find out a little more about it uh, very very interesting Oh, I see an attractive little trio over here. I'm gonna go inspect. <laughs> Gotta get my summer fix. Nothing like that six month old two stroke gasoline burning. Nothing smells better on a warm summer's day. 
you know, they had to dial the horsepower down, but they still want it spunk. It's got the super mod jugs on it because normally the RVs only have four. Yep. Four of them go down to the crankcase and two of them just are up, the, are up in the heads, right? Yeah, I think you're right. I'll just pretend like I know what I'm talking about. And then here's this. This is the K&M tool pouch. And then they bolted another one here. And then those are the holes for the plexiglass. So the full RV cross country fleet, 78, 79, 77. And what the owner was telling me when I said, hey, uh, this used to be a moto ski, he mentioned that uh, all the Blizzard oil racing sleds were moto ski chassis with a Skidoo cab on it. Uh, it has the moto ski track with the Chevron pattern for better traction. And, uh, and that's it. That's what the cross country was in 78. And here we have Mike Trapp and his beautiful wife Sandy, factory racer from 1973 to 77 for Bombardier yep. and Yamaha a couple years before. Right. Uh, <laughs> so priceless collections as far as the eye can see. Iconic racers and historic figures from the race world. Just driving around, walking around, talking to people, shaking hands. If you guys enjoy this video, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing, maybe leave a thumbs up, a comment. I get back to pretty much everyone that writes to me. I also have a Facebook page. If you go in the about section of the YouTube channel, uh, you can talk to me on Facebook. It's a little easier if you want to share pictures. I can share pictures and I even upload things a little bit before I do them. So uh, if you want to go check that out, that'd be greatly appreciated. One of the benchmarks of this show is the quality. The quality of sleds that are at this show is almost unparalleled and you'd be hard pressed to find nicer sleds than the ones that the warnings bring up uh let's go check them out they're absolute magnificent magnificent racers some of them one of a kind some of them extremely rare 1982 moto ski snow pro racer a herb yancey sled for all you little kids out there kitty cat you might like that you bug your parents for one 1979 factory snow pro race sled uh, absolutely beautiful we got a twin track over here uh, brad hewling's twin track here on site all right so i just spoke with the owner and i'm gonna go realize a childhood dream of mine right now okay. So how many of you could say that you sat on Yvonne Zuamez 1974 one of one 650 snow pro sled? I can. Needless to say, probably the rarest skidoo you will ever see. Uh, they made a couple of them and then they destroyed them and one of them survived. Yvonne Zahmed refused to send his sled back at the end of the season. And here it is, here it is in person at the 2023 Vintage Snowmobile So in Armstown. <laughs> Oh, and then I think I recognize some of these guys over here. We've got the legendary Dan Carruthers over here with his uh, formidable sleds. Let's go check them out. We've seen this one before on a couple other videos, the uh, TNT 600, ultra, ultra rare, 1968. First year of the iconic TNT series. And, uh, you know, only 12 in existence. This is one of them. Obviously, it's a great honor to have it at our show this year. Another sled that we've seen in one of my previous videos, I think the Valcour video, actually both of these are in the Valcour video, uh, the 1972 775 TNT. And uh, these are new ones, I've never seen these ones before. So we got a, uh, this is an 800 triple, I believe, and a 340 1976 RV. Magnificent, magnificent shape. As always with Danny sleds. So I just saw Danny passing the vacuum cleaner on his lovely platform. Legend has it, he's been brushing these engines now with a toothbrush for the past two weeks getting ready for this show. He also mentioned that this RV is fully original. This is an original survivor in immaculate condition. Absolutely adore his sleds, really, really glad he came. Always has some incredible, incredible stuff. We've got the judges scrutinizing yet again. Every little detail, nitpicking. You guys as fussy as every year? How are you? Mm -hmm. good, good to see good, you again good. this year. The man Wouldn't miss it. Wouldn't here, miss it for the world. Get away with anything. <laughs> got to keep these guys in check. And he does. Keep up the good work, boys. You, you too. Keep up the good work. 
So year after year, we're here, we see the magnificent snow jet collection, and I'm gonna say it, I got a pet peeve. I've been holding my tongue for the last couple of years. Why don't they leave any snow jets for the rest of us? Like, how come these guys buy all the snow jets? I mean, maybe I'd like to have a sled like this, and this suit right over here, and just cruise around the vintage trails. But no, guys have to hoard them. They have to buy every single Thunder jet that exists, and bring them to these shows and show them to us. Well, for that, I guess I'm thankful. In all seriousness though, I mean, check out these machines. Absolutely incredible. Every year you get this lineup. As far as the eye can see, I feel like I'm saying it every single year, but it's fun every time. And there's new ones that show up. Like I never saw this one before. I never saw that little mini one over there before. And I definitely never saw that wonderful suit right there before. God, I love this show. So back at the uh, warning collection, we have uh, an honorary guest, Mr. Real La Rochelle. I, uh, I actually had the honor we're going to Valco with him a couple days ago. You might have seen that video if it's posted by now. So after 50 years, Real La Rochelle reunited with the 1974 Snow Pro race sled. Uh, he would have worked on this sled back in 74 for a very limited amount of time, obviously because they were all pulled out and destroyed. But he has fond memories of this sled. And here he is reminiscing the good old days on this only survivor. I think I deserve a selfie on that one. Here's something you don't see too often. Rolo Flex, wild one. Never seen one of these. Not too many. 1974. We'd be the king of the trails at this one. Not a whole lot of mileage if that's the original speedometer. It could be, because this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. For all you Blizzard fans, like myself, a beautiful 645, 1972. Uh, I overheard the owner before saying that this is an NOS titanium cleated track. There's not too many of those left around. Got the Kelsey Hayes, you got these cool little handlebars to give you a bit of grip when you're going around the turns. And the all powerful 645. Absolutely gorgeous sled. Barbe Racing was at the show last year. I did a little segment on him, and in that segment, he said he was gonna buy a fourth sled. When I asked him if he did, uh, he has, and he's even looking at entering a new super mod class uh, for the Ontario race board. So that's gonna be up and coming for him eventually, but uh, really glad that he bought his awesome race sleds. Always fun to see these guys. This looks like it might have been one of uh, Gaston Ferland's old sleds. Uh, Gaston was actually supposed to be here today, but I think he's uh, he's a little under the weather. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Would have been cool. Like now, en effet, j'en ai pas vu souvent. Like c'est quoi qui est si spécial de cette machine là? Puis pourquoi qu'on n'a pas vu souvent? C'est le premier joué, puis je vais l'acheter. Why? J'ai jamais vu d'autres. Colin. J'ai eu ce qu'il y en a un autre, un GT O2, qui est dans le nord. C'est les deux seuls que je connais au Québec. C'est un 634, ça juste qu'elle est en fond moteur. C'est vraiment une belle machine. Something cool looks like it's happening at the snow jet trailer. He bought it brand new. That's been in our family for you know since 74. We bought that and an SST. 340. I haven't seen one in years. Is that right, eh? No, my brother rides it too. It'll pull the skis for about 40 feet. No problem. Behind me is legendary Snowjet designer Jim Poirier. Uh, he was a de designer for Snowjet from 1971 to 1974. So anything that you know Snowjet between those years, he designed. We're talking Saberjet, we're talking Thunderjet. So really, really an honor to have him here at the show. I know the Snowjet guys are going crazy because he's such a significant figure in the Snowjet history. So we don't see this too often, an all original 1969 Sea-Doo uh, with the matching attire. Now the Sea-Doo is really cool and you don't see them all that often, but you do see them. One thing that I've never seen before in my life is this short sleeve K-Way type jacket. And the person that was showing me this sled before showed me a video and you'd see uh, back in the day, these people all dressed up in these awesome little suits driving around the lake. And I just imagined how cool would it be to be cruising around in one of these 1969 Sidus with this wonderful little short sleeve K-Way on. Absolutely epic. Super happy that they brought it to the show. Really happy to have seen that. Oh, 71 Blizzard. A triple, it's a 797, yep, yep, 797, gorgeous. 
Oh, and a triple 73. Oh boy, and just as the rain shows up, so uh, I guess we're going to call it a day on this video. Uh, I think we got to see everything we wanted to see. It was a magnificent show. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Signing out.